What's up everybody, welcome to We Do Tech. Now, you're on the channel, we mostly do like a PC builds and we review products and just hardware peripheral stuff like that. But I never really go into some of the um, software that I actually use. So that's where today I just wanted to let you guys know some of the Chrome extensions I personally use that just helps me improve on my workflow. It makes it a lot easier to do just to help improve on my videos and just basic work I do every single day. So that's what today's video is going to be about. Now this is not going to be the most interesting video ever but I just want to share some of the um, software that I use with you guys just to make your life uh, hopefully a bit easier especially with a lot of work if you work on computers every single day so hopefully that'll help now I'm not sure if all of them are on Firefox as well but I will let you guys know if they work on Firefox uh, because most of them are for Chrome extensions so I'll just let you guys know and yeah let's get into the video do you live in South Africa and want to get yourself some awesome new gaming products? Well, go check out Rebel Tech. They have extremely low prices and they stock all the major brands like Asus, MSI, Gigabyte, Corsair and many more. You're also able to get Destiny 2 when purchasing selected NVIDIA GTX 1080 or 1080 Ti graphics cards. So check out the link in the video description to go get yourself a new graphics card and a new game. Okay, so just to get this one out of the way, because it's probably the one everybody uses, it is ad block. Now, you do get a few different ad block applications that you can also add. Like, for example, you do have this one as well, which is ad guard, ad blocker. So you do get a few different ones. Uh, you can use it to almost block all of the ads. For example, on YouTube, if you watch an, a video, it can block the ad on the video. But again, if you do that, you are uh, preventing that YouTuber or that website from making any money. So for me personally on YouTube, I just turn it off. So you can, on uh, certain websites, you can prevent ad block from actually blocking ads just to help out that creator or that website. But for some of those very annoying websites where they just pump it full of ads, you I just personally leave it on there because it's kind of really really annoying so for that i just leave it on but for a content a website or just a content creator you personally like and you want to support you can just turn it off but now that's pretty much it for ad blocker next up we have fire shot so this one actually captures the the screen image so you can for instance capture this entire section here so if you go up here you can capture the entire page capture visible visible part and then capture select uh, capture selection so for instance capture selection you will select the section you want i only want that i don't want to go below that and then it's going to capture that and then you can just save that as an image or save it as a pdf now if you want to capture the entire page you just say capture entire page and it'll go down automatically sometimes it doesn't load properly so you might want to do it a few times but yeah so you can see down here it didn't load everything but yeah just do it again and it should be fine i've recently used this for most of my videos where i just like link in a website where i want to show something so that personally helped me out a lot especially because some of the stuff you want to actually scroll down and with the video it's not always the most smoothest so if you capture an entire in image like a super long image you can just scroll that down in post editing and it will work a lot better than just uh, capturing a video so personally i use this one quite often uh, it has saved me a bunch of times just to make everything a lot easier so i would definitely recommend fire shot okay so the next one is google translate now i know you can just go into google translate it's going to show up there you can go into your type in whatever you want uh something like that hello it's gonna be the same and then it's you can just search what you want for but a lot of times you don't really want to go into the website first type it in it takes a while it's kind of a bit annoying you just want to go go to it straight away so for example we just have some afrikaans words here so let's just take a goodbye for example that's tot scenes so you can just highlight that you'll see the icon pops up here or you can just right click go to google translate and it's immediately going to throw 
throw it out goodbye which it was so if you do it like this as well you can just click there it's gonna throw it out immediately for you, you can change different languages as well but it picks up in afrikaans so yeah that's really really cool just something else let's say donkey uh where is that now translate it thank you there we go so thanks thank you pretty much that so personally i've used this one also a few times especially if i go on websites where it's written by somebody else or for instance youtube comments where there's a lot of russian guys or um just uh, other countries that actually comment in different languages and i just want to see what they actually mean then i just personally type it in there or well highlight it right click google translate not there google translate and boom i am set and just if i want to find out something else as well just type it in and then uh, again donkey thank you boom done so if you do work with a lot of different languages i would definitely recommend this add-on this extension it really does help out a lot and it can also translate the entire page so if you get to uh where it was entirely mandarin uh, you can just translate the entire page and you are set okay so next up is personally one that i use every single day i use it very very often and that's grammarly so this one is actually as the name implies it helps improve on your grammar if you misspell something it's gonna let you know that you actually misspelled it and it's gonna help you correct it now for somebody like me who really really sucks with grammar this is a lifesaver especially if i do have to write a post or something so let's quickly just go to facebook so here i just have a, a two sentences what's up guys welcome to we do tech i wanted to say today i am going to show you but as you guys can see my grammar really sucks but luckily grammar is here to help so if you just hover over the misspelled word usually it will also tell you because with the red line that there's something wrong but sometimes you don't really know what the right spelling is so if you just hover over it it's actually going to let you know you actually mean today i am not i are going to show there we go you gave you two options as well you so that's really really handy especially if you do write a lot of stuff like a lot of posts uh, for example my youtube descriptions as well i use it every time i post a video just to make sure i don't misspell a, a i or a u or a o or whatever just small mistakes like that that can actually really impact your your entire script your entire uh, post so for me personally this one is really a lifesaver i use it every single time uh, so if you especially on twitter as well if we just quickly go into my twitter it's really really handy again if i just want to just type something hello world i are very stupid i Dolly, wrong spelled there. Stupid. I R. That shouldn't be really I R. Uh, hello world. I am. Okay, so some, there we go. So you can see that it actually sometimes still makes mistakes. So, but that's kind of a really, really bad one that I. There we go. So it did actually pick it up afterwards. Hello world. Uh, I am very stupid. So just check sometimes it does make uh like punctuation mistakes so just make sure it's just uh, like a, a helping guide if you want to spell in a different language altogether uh it's not really going to work that perfectly you, you are going to have to know most of it it's just the small mistakes that's really annoying that you want to fix so personally i like again i use it for all of my posts and it's just it's a lifesaver so next up we have a black menu for google now this one is just kind of just a quick a shortcut that i actually have up here uh, it's just if you open it up it's going to show you my your google drive so all of your um, so all of your folders here all of my stuff so if i go into you take there's a bunch of stuff i have here and then also it does have all of the google links here as well so if i just uh, most of the popular ones you can move it around as well if you want to you can add some but if you want to open all of them 
there you go so that's all of google's applications that you can open up uh maps playground i have never heard of that live streaming it's it's on there youtube creator academy so there's a bunch of uh, stuff movies alerts whatever you're gonna open all of them so you don't have to first search them and it's just a lot easier so for example if i just quickly want to find a script that i wrote in uh in my google drive just go here i can find it here or i can just quickly open up from here as well so you can just do all of this through a normal search so just google google drive or you can just go into there or if you open up a new tab you can just go here and google drive but personally for me because of there's a lot more options and i if i know where the folder is exactly i can just go in there go in there go in there and i'm set and especially with these ones as well you can open google translate from here as well youtube news G, uh, gmail calendar so you don't have to type in anything and for me that's just probably a bit more handy so yeah if you you can use different ones but for me i personally like black menu for google so that's pretty much it for the video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did please like share comment comment like always also if you guys want me to do more like uh, videos like this where i just share some of the software and other stuff i use that kind of helps just make all of my work easier help improve on your on my personal workflow let me go, let me know in the comments below and i'll just share with you guys but anyway thanks for watching guys and remember about the giveaway that i'm doing as well i'll leave a link in the video description for that so you can win it's unfortunately it's only for south africans but you can win an in win 8 of 5 case which i did uh, do a build in a while back so you can just check out that as well but anyway thanks for watching guys and i'll check all of you next time cheers guys